Now it's been five years since my last video on how to extend your phone's battery life and there's been a ton of Android updates. So I thought let's revisit this and look at some advanced level tips to extend your phone's battery in 2025 all without touching battery saving mode. Well let's start off with one of the biggest drainers on our phones, nearby device scanning. Now depending on your phone there could actually be two hidden settings for this okay? One from your manufacturer, such as here for Samsung, I've got one called Nearby Device Scanning under the connection section. Or if I go through the Google services, devices, there's another one here, Scan for Nearby Devices. Both of them do exactly the same thing, but more specific to each's ecosystem. The one for all of the Galaxy devices and another for Google's Chromecasts. I don't know. Either way, both of them work in exactly the same way, scanning your nearby area for devices to connect to. And they're always on, which means they're continuously draining your battery for no apparent reason most of the time. So if you want it, you can turn both of these off. And when you do need to connect, just turn on your Bluetooth. Now, if you didn't know already, a lot of our social media apps require us to allow location sayings. Using this info, even if the apps are not running in the foreground. Yeah, this also uses a ton of battery. So let's restrict this a bit more. So within your notification panel, under your toggles, long press on location or alternatively head into your location settings section within your phone settings. Next, app on app permissions. And here we go, we can see exactly which apps are using our location information. So now we can just work our way down the list and adjust all of these, either denying, allowing or personally what I like to set these to is to allow only when I'm using the apps, except for Google services which I allow to run all the time. Now while we're here in location settings, for those of you who don't really rely on Google Maps or anything like that, you might want to consider heading to the improve accuracy section and toggling off the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning options. This will of course reduce the accuracy of your GPS locations. However, it's definitely gonna save you some battery. Now I don't know about you guys, but another feature that I've never used is printing from my phone. So let's turn this off as well because it's just continuously looking for a printer to print. So within your phone settings, just search for printing. Now just head into the printing option and toggle the printing service off. Now let's look at restricting apps from running in the background. Now as a great indicator of which apps you should specifically target, check out your battery section where you should see exactly which apps are using the most amount of power. Anyway, head into app power management or background usage limits in my case and the option we're looking for here is sleeping apps. If you can't find it, try searching for it. Now this list will allow you to manage the apps that will be instantly put to sleep anytime you exit them, meaning that they won't run in the background as well as blocking all notifications from them as well. However, if you want to take this one step further, what you could do is head into your apps, tap on any app you want, head into the battery section, and then totally restrict the battery usage so the system will automatically restrict it in the background. Now another feature that was introduced a few Android versions back, digital well-being. So if you're like me and just nowadays kind of don't even pay attention to it, you can actually reduce its background usage as well. Just head into the digital well-being section of your settings app, tap the three dots at the top right, and then head into usage data access. And just simply toggle it off. Now out of all of the tips I've shown you so far, this last one is going to save you the most amount of battery, background syncing, where your phone automatically tries to sync up your emails, photos, videos, contacts, all of that shenanigans all in the background without you knowing, and it happens all the time. I mean it's really good having cloud backups instantly, but of course it uses not only a lot of data, but battery power as well. So it's probably best for you guys to move over to a more periodic syncing cycle, maybe every night when it's plugged in or something a bit more frequent if you're using your phone for work. Because yes, turning off sync does mean that you're going to miss some of those important emails until you've re-synced up that is. Just keep that in mind. Now if you guys found this helpful, make sure to smash that like button and why not check out some of my home screen setups. They're not too shabby.